Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a recipe to share with you. I have some super simple, easy cappuccino fudge. Now, if you've never made fudge before, it can get kind of complicated. This is not a complicated one. This one does not require a candy thermometer. It doesn't require close watching of the melted concoction, which I have made some complicated fudge in the past. And while it's very delicious, you can make it just as delicious uh, in this very easy way. So I thought I'd share this recipe with you. It's actually Father's Day today while I'm filming this and we're going to be giving this to uh, my husband because he loves cappuccino flavored anything, but especially fudge. So we are going to make this as a gift. Uh, so if you need maybe a dessert dish to pass, uh, maybe just something fun, you know, to have for your family, it's great for summer because we're just using the stove, we're not baking anything. And yeah, let's get right into it. All right, for this recipe, you are going to need regular white sugar, also some uh, brown sugar. I've got light brown sugar, but you know, whatever floats your boat. I also have some instant coffee, salt, white chocolate chips, a can of evaporated milk, two tablespoons of butter, this is vanilla extract. I make my own, which is why it's in this funky jar, and some mini marshmallows. Now this recipe originally came from Carnation, which is the evaporated milk company. However, you know I'm a budget queen, so I use Baker's Corner from Aldi. All right, so I'm starting out with just my medium size saucepan here. Obviously, it's not hot. I'm gonna put it on the stove in a minute. Um, but we are going to start with our sugars. Here we have one cup of granulated sugar. To this, we're gonna add two thirds of a cup of our brown sugar. Next, I have my evaporated milk, and we're gonna need two thirds of a cup of this as well. And like I said before, Aldi has the best deals around me when it comes to, you know, basically anything. And this is a super budget-friendly um, dish to make, whether you're giving it as a gift or enjoying it at home. It's super cheap, which we love. Next, I'm going to throw my two tablespoons of butter in there. Next, I've got one tablespoon of the instant coffee granules. I don't ever drink instant coffee, but I always keep it in the house because it's great for cooking with. And we also have half a teaspoon of salt. Now we're gonna put this on the stove, heat it up to a boil, and lightly boil it for about four or five minutes until it gets nice and thick. All right, while I'm waiting for that to come to a boil, I'm gonna go ahead and prep uh, my dish. This is an eight by eight, and we are going to line it with parchment paper. And the way I like to do this to be able to get, um, like, not just, not just fudge, but anything out easily, is to do it in two strips, like one on top of the other. So I do, like, my one on the bottom, and then I'm gonna put one that way. There we go. And we'll be able to lift the fudge out really easily because we keep these little bits on the side open. All right, so it's nice and thick. It doesn't smell burnt or anything. You'll know if you've taken it too far, but it is, you know, thickened up quite a bit. Taking it off the heat. It took me about four and a half minutes to get to this point. And you'll notice that there's no lumps in it or anything. You can't see any of the granules of sugar. It's all, you know, dissolved and cooked. And now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. First, I've got two cups of mini marshmallows in here, which is such a great ingredient to make your uh, fudge like super velvety and not something you maybe would think about in a traditional fudge. Um, but really once it melts down, it doesn't have like a ton of marshmallowy flavor. It really just enhances the texture. I'm also going to add two cups of white chocolate chips. and also a teaspoon of vanilla extract. There 
And now we're just gonna stir it until it's all nice and melted and smooth. Oh my gosh, it smells so good and it is the exact color of a cappuccino. All right, I don't have any lumps in here anymore. It is nice and smooth, so we are going to put it in our dish. Oh my gosh, it's already starting to like thicken up. You do have to work a little bit quickly, I would say. All right. And there is our cappuccino fudge. We need to put it in the refrigerator uh, for about four hours. And then I'm gonna show you how to cut it and how to present it so that it is super beautiful. All right, you guys, it has been four hours. It is nice and cool and it's ready to cut. And I've got two different ways I'm going to serve it to make it extra beautiful. So I wanted to share that with you, of course. All right. All right, so I am going to cut the edges off because I want it to be nice and like square. So we're gonna do one of these. All right, and I'm actually using a ruler because I want these to be little cubes. And they don't have to be perfect. I'm just using it as like a guide. All right, now I'm gonna do it in the other direction. Okay, next, much like what you'd put on top of a latte or a cappuccino, I've got a bit of cinnamon that I'm just gonna dust on top of these ones. You could even do, if you had larger pieces, you could even do like a cutout the way they do like, you know, shapes and stuff. You could like cut out a heart or whatever like occasion you're bringing this to, you could make something like that. I'm just gonna do this because it's not that deep <laughs> today. I think this is just gonna be perfect. All right, for my next sort of topping, I've got some white chocolate chips, um, just a couple, and I'm going to melt these real quick. And these are a little bit pricey, but if it's in your budget, um, I would highly recommend these. These are chocolate covered coffee beans, and they are so delicious. And we are going to decorate the tops of some of these cubes with some of those. It's really gonna like step this up a notch for sure. Okay, so you see how it just made the teeniest amount um, of chocolate. You really only need a few because basically we're gonna use this as glue. So I'm just gonna dunk it in there a little. Ah. And put that right on top. Oh my God, and these look so pretty and they're gonna be so tasty. I'm very excited to give these to my husband. Wow, I feel like maybe like tweezers or tongs would be helpful in this moment, but I'm too lazy to stop and go get some. It'll be fine. Now, as I said before, this original recipe came from the Carnation website, like Carnation, the brand of evaporated milk. However, these little things that I'm doing on top, this is just my own little twist on it. That recipe originally actually calls for chocolate shavings on the top, which I also think would be very delicious. I think some variations that might be fun would maybe be like a white chocolate swirl, because uh, swirls look so pretty in fudge. So if you were to make maybe a white chocolate fudge and a cappuccino fudge and swirl them together, I think that would be really cool. All right, you guys, here they are. These are so like delicious looking. They're beautiful and yet super simple. I would be so excited to roll up to any like party or gathering, especially in the summertime, and have these as something to munch on. I would be ecstatic over that. I do wanna have an official real taste test. It's not one from here. I have a couple of extra cubes. It is so good, you guys. It's super smooth. It's exactly what you want out of fudge, you know? Super sweet, super decadent smooth, melts in your mouth, and that coffee flavor, it's fantastic. Oh, my husband is gonna be so excited! All right, you guys, and with that, 
Thanks for watching this video. Let me know. Do you ever make fudge? Have you made fudge in this sort of way using like the evaporated milk? I would love to hear your fudge experiences. We are a fudge loving family. So any of your advice or recipes or anything you want to share, I would love to hear. Of course, come on back for more and we will see you guys later. Bye.